Hello everyone and welcome to this video concerning the pullback of two forms. So the pullback of two forms on manifolds is an extension of the pullback of one forms and is fundamental in differential geometry. Two forms are objects that can be integrated over two dimensional surfaces and play an essential role in fields like fluid dynamics, electromagnetism and general relativity. So let's make a start. All right, probably hide that. Yep, okay, so let's just go back to a little bit to the beginning, just to remind ourselves um, what a two-form is. So a two-form omega on a manifold M is an anti-symmetric bilinear map, meaning it takes two tangent vectors and outputs a real number. So in formal terms, you'd write it in the following. So formally, if M is a smooth manifold and the tangent space to the manifold at point P is the tangent space at a point P belongs to M, a two-fold omega at P is a map, omega at P, from the tangent space to the manifold M and the P, product of those, to the reals. So omega is a two form at the point P that takes two vectors from the tangent space at P and maps them to a real number. Such that for any vectors X, Y belong to the tangent space to the manifold M at P, omega of P, X, Y is minus omega P of Y, X. Notice swapping the order of the vectors gives us a negative result. It is anti-symmetric. So you can think of a manifold, you can think of a point P on the manifold, a tangent space of that point in which there are two vectors X and Y, and what is the area spanned by those two vectors? So we, here we are looking at the, uh, the uh, tangent space again in R2, here it is, and we can see the vector X, the vector Y, and we can see that they span this parallelogram and what is the area of that? Well, it depends on the orientation we take it. If we go X, then Y, we get a positive result. But if we go Y, then X, we get a negative result. So the order in which we take them matters. But the area of DX wedge DY of XY is DX of X times DY of Y. That's the, that's the one form DY acting on the vector Y, the one form DX acting on the vector X minus dx acting on y and dy acting on x right? and this operation gives us the area spanned by these vectors the area of this parallelogram All right so just a reminder of where we are okay so the pullback now so let's concentrate on that so given two smooth manifolds m and n and a smooth map f from m to n as we've seen in previous videos the pullback of a differential Omega on N is a way to transport uh, this form back to the manifold M using the map F. Intuitively, the pullback takes a form defined on N and defines a new form on M by evaluating in terms of the original map F. So for a smooth map F that maps M to N, takes points on M, maps into points on N, the pullback F star omega K of N, all right, uh, is a map from the space of K forms on N to the space of K forms on M. Now, this is the general definition, not just for two forms, okay, or, or one forms. All right, this is the general def definition for K forms. So it takes a K form on N to a K form on M, preserving the degree of the form. So I just put the general definition in there. Uh, you may also see the lambda symbol used in this role as well, instead of capital omega. You may see lambda here, so the space of K forms on N. So F star, the pullback, is a map from the space of K forms on N to the space of K forms on M. All right, so let's concern ourselves now with the subject of this video, which is the pullback of a two form. So let omega be a two form on N and let F be a map from M to N, be a smooth map. The um, pullback of omega defined F star omega is defined in terms of the tangent map, push forward of vectors as follows. So for any point P belongs to M, it's the first manifold, and vectors V and W that belong to the tangent space of the manifold M at the point P, then the pullback F star omega at the point P acting on the vectors V and W is omega F of P. And notice this here acts on this one form at F of P, the point F of P on N uh, acts on the two, two, these two vectors push forward. So the push forward of V is DP, D at Point P, F of V, so it's the Jacobian uh, of the function F acting on the vector V at the point P, and the same for vector W, right? There's two of them. 
where DPF is a map from TPN to TF of PN. It's a push forward, the differential of the map F of point P, and omega F of P is a two form on N evaluated at the point P. Hence this notation, omega F of P, because it's at the point F of P, which is on the uh, uh, cotangent space for the manifold N. All right. Uh, before I get to an example, maybe just I should look at a couple of the, the properties. The properties of pullbacks of two forms is naturality. The pullback of forms respects the wedge product and exterior derivative. So omega is a one form. Then um, F star, the exterior derivative of omega, the, the pullback of the exterior derivative of omega is the same as the exterior derivative of the pullback of omega. All right. Naturality. All right, and for two one forms alpha and beta, the pullback of alpha wedge beta is the same as, is equal to the pullback of the one form alpha wedged with the pullback of the one form beta. And that will be truly useful for us. Antisymmetry, the pullback preserves the antisymmetry of the two form. If omega is a two form, the pullback F star omega is also antisymmetric. Okay, so here's an example now. And, um, uh, I've used this map before, these manifolds, and this map before in the previous videos on the pullback of one forms. So look for the similarity between what's the content of those videos and this one. So let's have a concrete example where our manifold M is Euclidean space R2 and N is also R2, and the smooth map F from R2 to R2 is given by F of XY is the component functions F1 of XY, F2 of XY, uh, and the equations are X squared minus Y squared. 2xy, so f1 is this, f2 is that, and these are equal to the coordinates z1 and z2 on the cotangent space for the manifold n. All right, so we're mapping xy to z1, z2. All right, all right, so xy coordinates on manifold n, z1, z2 coordinates on manifold n. Now consider the two form omega is dz1 wedge dz2 on n equals r2 where Z1 and Z2 are coordinates on N. Okay, so here's our two form, dz1, wedge dz2, these coordinates. All right, now to compute the pullback of omega under the map F, we first find the differentials dz1, dz2 under F, and we call that Z1 is X squared minus Y squared, Z2 is 2XY, so computing the differential dz1 is 2X dx minus 2Y dy, and this one is uh, 2 y dx plus 2x dy. All right. um, now the pullback of the two form. Do you remember these from the previous video on the one forms, on the pullback of the one forms? Think about those, where they come from. Compare them with the past video. Now the pullback of the two form omega dz1 wedge dz2 is given by um, f upper asterisk of omega. So the pullback of omega under the map f is the pullback of dz1 wedge dz2 under the map f is the pullback of dz1 under f wedged with the pullback of dz2 under f all right so substitute the expressions for dz1 dz2 okay remember z1 z2 on manifold n xy on manifold m so we're taking we're expressing this now as using the coordinates from M. Now expanding this wedge product, so we have this now, so F, uh, the pullback of omega under the map F is this wedged with this, see from here. Okay, and um, from the previous video, we found the pullback of dz2 and dz1. Okay, we found them to be this and this. Okay, expanding this wedge product under the map F. Now expanding this wedge product, well, if we expand this out, we're going to have these terms here. All right, notice you've got dy, wedge dy, which will go to zero, dx, wedge dx, that'll go to zero as well, and just be left with these two terms in the middle. And then we'll use the anti-symmetry there to help us. So that's where we're going. So we've got this here, just repeating what we had before. Now dx, wedge dx is zero, dy, wedge dy is zero. So this simplifies to this object here which is the two middle terms, second and third terms. And um, now we can swap the sign of this by 
when we swap the order of dy wedge dx, we get dx wedge dy, but we also have a minus sign out front. So it takes care of this negative and gives us a plus here. And we collect uh, corresponding factors now, because we have a common term here of dx wedge dy. We end up with four outside of x squared plus y squared. Now the pullback of the two form omega under the map F is F star omega. The pullback of omega under the map F is four times x squared plus y squared in parentheses times dx wedge dy. All right, so what is the <clears throat> interpretation of this? I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time on this. The pullback of a two form tells us how it areas or volumes and higher dimensions transforms transform under the map f. So in this example, a two form omega dz1 wedge dz2 represents a unit area in the z1, z2 coordinates. And after the pullback, it is transformed into an area element in the xy coordinate that scales by a factor of four times x squared plus y squared. So a little bit of interpretation needed there. All right, so the wedge product dx wedge dy represents a two form that corresponds to an oriented area element in the xy plane. Similarly, dz1 wedge dz2 represents the oriented area element formed by the differentials of the functions z1 and z2. And the equation dz1 wedge dz2 equals four times in parentheses x squared plus y squared dx wedge dy suggests that the area element given by the differentials dz1 wedge dz2 in the z1 z2 coordinates is related to the area element in the original xy coordinates scaled by the factor four times x squared plus y squared. Okay, very good. So that's just a repeat of what we had. Okay, so how do we interpret that? Well, the function z1, z2 expressed in terms of x and y and the area form in the z1, z2 coordinates is not simply proportional to the standard area form in the x, y coordinates. Instead, it is scaled by a factor that depends on the distance from the origin in the x, y plane, specifically four times in parentheses x squared plus y squared. This scaling factor, four times in parentheses x squared plus y squared, can be understood as a local area distortion factor when transforming from the x, y coordinates to the z1, z2 coordinates. All right, so in general, when transforming coordinates, the wedge product of the differentials, such as what we have here, relates to the wedge product in the original coordinates, that's the x, wedge, dy in our case, via the Jacobian determinant of the transformation from x, y to z1, z2. Specifically, dz1 wedge dz2 is the determinant of the Jacobian times the wedge product dx wedge dy. So here, this is the determinant of Jacobian matrix of the coordinate transformation, representing how the area elements transform between the two coordinate systems. Okay, so in our problem here, we don't just have a simple factor of four, but we have something that depends on the distance from the origin. Okay, it's a distortion factor. All right, um, now, so that brings me now to the end of that video there. Uh, I'll just remind you, here, here was our manifold again. Point P, tangent space to point P with two vectors X and Y in it. Uh, and here's what it looks like uh, in greater detail. Uh, we have the vector X, the vector Y. We see that um, these intercepts occur, the, the real number value of the one form dy acting on the vector x to give us this value here and so on. But anyway, this gives us the area, depending on the order we take x and y in. If we go x first, then y, we get a, in other words, we go anti-clockwise, we get a positive value, x, then y, positive area value, or signed value of the area, I should say. And if we take x and y in the opposite direction, going clockwise, we get the negative signed value of the area, all right? And the area is given by this object here. And that's, this material came from the first video on introduction to two forms. So if you want to go back and have a look at that. But anyway, for the purpose, that's, that's an example of a pullback. What I'm looking forward to in the next video will be, or future videos, just some more examples on the pullback of the two form, um, and then looking at the general case after that. All right, um, okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please uh, push the like button and subscribe. Uh, and also, I, I do hope you found the video informative and, and useful to you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So take care, everyone, and thanks again for watching. All right, bye.